In the main menu bar, the Build menu contains the following options. At the very top, you'll see the Build Geometry for Current Level. Now, just as a note, the word Build is kind of inferred among these uh, first four options. So building geometry for the current level is really only important if you make some sort of change to the geometry, and that doesn't include adding a new brush, like adding an additive or subtractive brush. What it really means is if we were to take maybe this additive brush that you see here against the uh, right corner on the back wall and slide it over to the opposite side, you'll notice something kind of interesting happen. The brush itself has been moved. It is now on the left wall as opposed to the right wall, but we still see it sitting on the right-hand side. Logan, can you tell us why that is? Well, that's because um, it kind of goes back to the uh, toolbars video from the uh, viewport section. And if you remember, we had brush wireframe and regular wireframe, or what I would call geometry wireframe. And what this comes down to, is, as we had mentioned, is that geometry is built from the brushes. The brushes tell the engine where we would like geometry to be placed, but that geometry is not actually created until the build process is run. That's right. So if I jump over here into brush wireframe, we only see the brush here on the left side of the room. But if I go to wireframe mode, we actually see them both. We only really see this brush because this brush is currently selected. If I was to deselect the brush, all we see is the actual geometry geometry of the level. In order to update this geometry and move this brush truly from the right hand side of the room to the left, we need to go under build and choose build geometry for current level. Now we get some errors here and for the time being we're going to ignore these and let me just go over them and, uh, to tell you why. First off, it says we need to uh, rebuild our paths. We don't have any path nodes so that's irrelevant. Uh, it says we need to rebuild our lighting. Well, we know that, but it's not important at the moment. And then the last two are just telling us that we're still using the basic default material, which you generally don't want to do. So for now, we're just going to hit close. And you'll notice that here in geometry wireframe mode, this brush has moved from the right-hand side of the level over to the left. Now, if I jump back over to lit mode, you can see that, along with a, a really cool uh, lighting feature over there in the corner. Now, let's uh, take a look at moving that back. I'm going to jump back over to the top view, and we'll just slide this brush over to the right-hand side. And once again, we get that sort of uh, disparity where you see the solid brush over here on the left, but the actual brush has moved over, and we won't see the change until we update our geometry by rebuilding it. So there's a quick look at the build geometry for current level feature. Let me go ahead and uh, jump down to uh, ge build geometry for visible levels. This action is really only pertinent if you are level streaming, meaning you have several different levels streamed into a single level, and this will build the geometry only for those levels that are currently visible. Underneath this, we have the lighting option. And really what this does is this is going to open up the build lighting options window instead of just building your lighting. So, <clears throat> excuse me, if I was to click on this, we get the lighting build options, and this allows us to check off what it is we would like to see uh, the lighting be built for. So for BSP brushes, for static meshes, or for perhaps only selected actors, only on the current level, and you can see all the options there. Let's just go ahead and leave it at the defaults, and we'll click OK. And give this a second to build. This is actually not a super fast process, and if you have a very complex level, this can take a little bit of time. So we'll just be patient and take our way through this one. And almost there. Anticipation's killing me. No, the video hasn't paused yet. <laughs> We're still waiting. All right, there we go. So we get one more little uh, stack of error messages. Notice that the one about uh, lighting needing to be rebuilt has disappeared. So let's close this. And now we have shifted over from dynamic lighting to static lighting because we have uh, various static objects, but we have no dynamic objects and no dynamic lights. And we'll talk more about lighting itself in a future video. Back to the build menu. Underneath this, we have the option of building AI bot paths, which is currently irrelevant as we have no paths in the scene. But if we were to add any path nodes around the level and we wanted uh, Unreal Edge, to recompile those to make connections in between them, we would just run this and it would rebuild those paths for us. Underneath this, we have the build all feature. This will build everything. It'll start with your geometry, then it'll build your lighting and your bot paths all at once. So if you don't want to be selective, you just want to build it all and be done with it, you can click on this button. And underneath this, we have play level, and you'll uh, just choose in editor, uh, which is probably just going to be available right there at the bottom of the menu. And this will allow you to play. Now, if I was to select this right now, we'll actually run into a little bit of a problem problem because dun, 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 couldn't spawn player, could not find a starting point. In order for this option to work, I would need to right-click on my floor somewhere, choose Add Actor, and add a player start, and then we could go under Build and choose Play and Editor, 
And here we go. So now we are actually inside the level, and we can see what's going on. Of course, as an alternative to this, as you may have seen, you can right-click on any point of your level and choose Play from here. And there you go. So that is a quick look at the options found within the Build menu.